Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is another look at some of the uh, information we have today, the latest update on what's happening with the Windows 10 April 2019 update. So we knew that 18.362 was RTM or officially the uh, April 2019 update so it's available for insiders. Once again there's no image to download. If you want this you gotta be an insider you got to activate the Insider program, get yourself into Fast Ring, and once it's updated, you remove yourself from the Insider program and you're updated. I do not recommend that anyone do this unless you know what you're doing and you really, really feel like you want to try this out. So today another milestone has been reached because we had a uncertainty about build 18362. It was the fact that it was removed from slow ring because of a bug for the update that didn't work on some computers. We knew that it was due to an older build, 18356, and that the people there couldn't upgrade. So Microsoft yesterday, very late in the day, issued finally a cumulative update for 18356. What that means, that means 18362 is now pretty much just waiting to be released and we're just waiting for the announcements we're waiting for that time when Microsoft is going to say, hey, April 2019 update is going to be released on this day. And that's what we are waiting for. And of course, as soon as we know it, we will talk about it. That's for sure. So, but that does actually, um, you know, put us in a position where now we know that uh, basically things are moving forward. The official date, like I said, isn't known yet. There's, um, you know, there, there's going to be an announcement we know at some point soon, but we don't have it yet. We don't have any information yet as to when will this be released uh, for now. So that's one thing for sure. So by removing the block on 18362 for insider slowing, that means that the test is still going on. But I would uh, think that in the next in the next two weeks. Uh, we should have something coming up. So, you know, be patient. It's still not there. It's n still not available only for insiders, but it's soon to be released. Uh, for those that say, oh, well, I've heard it's going to be in the month of May. No, it's going to be this month. We're only at April 3rd. There's still a lot of time, you know, I mean, there's 30 days in April. They still have 27 days to go, even if they would is issue it on April 30th. It doesn't change anything. It's still the April 2019 update. But now we're actually heading to really what is going to be that update. Somebody was asking if, um, you know, it was um, one of the questions I didn't really answer or believe much in some of my updates. Um, do I absolutely need to do a clean install of this? And no, the majority of you that update or upgrade to the new versions of Windows 10, you do it through Windows Update. And for the most part, you upgrade and you keep everything and you know everything's there and your programs are there and everything is uh, okay. Another question somebody asked was um, are all of my programs that are installed right now and working in April 2018 so not October but April 2018 update going to be compatible and work. There's no changes in Windows 10 that make me see or think that any programs that are working in the April 2018 update of last year cannot run on April 2019. They all pretty much seem to be okay um, and they should be okay also for the October 2018 update. The only thing that could happen and we've seen it with some uh, drivers, sometimes a change in some of the uh, core windows files and you know uh, at, at the heart of Windows itself can create a problem with the driver so if that would arise for some people first of all remember that you won't have the update because Microsoft will know about it Microsoft will simply prevent you from getting it as long as it's not fixed and a lot of that is going to be fixed by the manufacturers themselves um, a lot of computers that are running the April 2019 update or will be running the April 2019 update will require 
some updates to some of their drivers because of the way that it works. But um, you know what? Don't worry. <laughs> if you follow the rules, and the simple rule is not forcing it, what you will simply need to do is wait. And if everything is okay, if all the lights are green, your PC will eventually get it in Windows Update. Uh, Microsoft intentionally blocks it from some PCs because they know that an issue with a, a driver or with some hardware or maybe a piece of software you got installed in, as long as it's not fixed, uh, they're not pushing it. So that's the way that they do it. And they're trying, and I think they're going to be very, very careful this time around. They don't want to have a repeat of 2018. And that's one of the reasons also why they're really being careful. They're being careful. They've removed it from slowing temporarily. It's back now. Everybody on slowing is getting it now. Um, creative sound card problems are fixed because Creative issued new drivers. There's the Realtek SD card reader that um, I don't have any news. We don't really know anything. But I would think that when this is released, what's going to happen is, like I said, on the, s the release date, there's also going to be a cumulative update for April 2019 update. That cumulative update will probably not just fix some of the bugs that they know, because as they've been testing it for the past two, three weeks since we had, uh, two weeks since we had 18.362, even a little more, uh, since they've been testing it, they, of course, have found probably other bugs that have been reported and the telemetry also being sending a lot of uh, reports of bugs. So that means that there's going to be a cumulative update that's going to fix quite a few little things. One of them I probably will fix the um, SD uh, card reader from Realtek. I am, you know, they're not going to leave it not functional. But that's the last issue that is left on the list and I would guess the cumulative update will fix it when it comes out. Of course we're going to keep you up to date and uh, remember there's still no official date of release but once we do we will of course uh, be checking out and t telling you the, air, the, the details of this. Uh, last but not least I still get a lot of people saying well you know the media creation tool doesn't have this. No it doesn't. It doesn't as long as it's not officially released. So if you want to do a clean install, what's going to happen is that the day they are officially going to release this, there's going to be an update to the media creation tools on the website. From there, you'll be able to download an image of April 2019 update. And um, you'll be able, of course, to uh, clean install if you wish to do so. And uh, one last question that I've got, um, my opinion on clean install versus upgrade. You know, it's it depends on your PC, honestly. For a lot of PCs, the upgrade process will be okay. And I mean, you'll have a working Windows 10 um, April 2019 update that's going to be fine, even though you're using the upgrade process. And for probably the majority of people, that's okay. Um, where I would, you know, recommend a clean install is if you've been on the same install for a long time. For example, I clean installed when I had the April 2018 update. That's the last time I clean installed. Since then, I've got cumulative updates and I got the October 2018 update that I actually upgraded rather than clean installed. Worked fine. And the April 2019 update that I've upgraded. Now I do have a sluggishness at the startup, but a lot of you seem to say that you also have that weird moment where it takes a little bit of time um, a lot of you have been mentioning the lock screen. Well, there's the lock screen, but if you actually manage to um, log in, you'll see that your icons in the taskbar take several seconds. Um, in, in my case, it's like a good 30 seconds before whoop, something unlocks and, and everything starts, you know, starts up updating and, and everything starts uh, working again like there's no problem. So there's, of course, um, a lot, enough people that have mentioned this that I guess maybe it's some kind of little glitch here, but that can be easily fixed probably with a cumulative update. 
And um, some of you have been asking, do, do you, have you had all the problems you were talking about? Well, I have two problems that are minor, but are there. The first one is the slow boot up time because of that delay. That I can live with because, you know, I turn on the PC, I go make myself a cup, a cup of coffee, I come back, everything's all right. But one that is a little more annoying that um, some of you have said you've seen also is the flashing screen. Um, and yesterday, I had seen it the first day I upgraded to the April 2019 update. Yesterday, and I had not seen it since, but yesterday I did. I was saving a file on my PC. And when the dialog box opened to save the file, everything started blinking. And actually, even the text that I would write in that dialog box wouldn't show up. And I shut down the dialog box and did a new save again. And it was okay that time. So it's kind of funny. It seems to be at specific moments when you do specific things. Um, so I guess that also is something that will be fixed with a cumulative update. So that's the latest news. We know that 18.362 is the official thing. And uh, for those that still are asking the question about, yeah, I did the update, but when I rolled back to stop the Insider uh, program like you, uh, you showed, it still says I'm in the Insider program. You know, leave it like that. Uh, unlink your account. Uh, I got the same thing. I believe that when it's officially released and we get a cumulative update, everything will actually turn back to normal. Uh, as long as you have that little slider, unlink the account and have the slider on for the, uh, you know, opt out of the uh, flighting of builds. So uh, we'll be, uh, of course, back to normal at that point. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.